Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, last week we finished stringers, they're all in, fiberglass. Uh, this week we're gonna build paint the floor up to so far and start working on cutting the actual floor out and laying that down. Um, yeah, see how far we get this week. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on with it. Yeah, so as you can see, all fiberglassed in, nice and solid now. Uh, so we're gonna go to Bilge Paint now. I've managed to order off of Amazon, I think it was, this. Is it T-Mac? Uh, Bilge and Locker Paint. I opted for the gray, not much price difference. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna Bilge Paint all of this. And then I've got to try and work out. Yeah, so this is the toilet side. I might build paint probably up to there and paint the inside and then try and work out if I need to do any more fiberglass in to put the toilet floor in. What I don't want to do is think, oh yeah, we'll paint it all and then come to it and think, ah, oh, I'd have to sand it all back down. Uh, yeah, so it's just, makes more sense just to stop so far try and work out uh, what I'm doing so the floor the first floor like I think I showed you on last week's video toilet will go from there let me turn you around might be better okay maybe this is a better angle so basically there's gonna be a line going straight across up to there because the toilet will come up to this line here so there'll be a wall um, and then the same with the kitchen uh, but I think I'm gonna come out yeah so about there so yeah I'll crack on crack on with the bilge painting uh, I'm gonna quickly hoover and acetone it all just so it's all nice and clean because this is the final stage for this. This is build paint goes down and then the floor go on top so you won't you won't ever see it again unless you spring a leak. So hopefully I don't do that. Um, yeah, so I'll just crack on. Right, so that's all that's toned up. Um, like I said, I'm gonna use this bilge paint. Going for the gray. Apparently it takes two hours touch dry and then I think it said eight hours to actually fully harden. Uh, it says of uh, about two or three coats. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'll see how the first one covers. I uh, might do a second one, I think third would be over the top, I'm not too sure, I'll have a look at it. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on with that and I'll put you on time lapse.
Okay, that's its uh, first coat on. It's covered quite well. I'll probably, uh, as you can see, left that short and left this short. It will be painted, just got to work out the flooring. So what I'll probably do is another coat on this, um, then cut the floor and work out what I'm doing with the floor and then I can paint the rest. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. I'll leave that to dry for a couple hours, come back and give it a second coat. Okay. Okay. So that's still the first coat, it's still drying. It's uh, taking a little while. Um, so what I'm gonna do while I wait for that to dry is I'm going to start cutting out this floor. Uh, so it will go up to there and come over to here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on and do this floor get all cut out, see how it goes. Right, and after roughly about three cuts, got it in, finally got a floor to stand on. Um, the only things I have got left to do is I will be cutting this little piece off here so it lines up with that wall and then build the floor for the toilet there and also there will be a step here, so I'm gonna cut from there around to the stringer, the one that was down below. Cut that piece out and then there'll be a, a step up there. And then the kitchen will maybe start from about here. I uh, don't need a big kitchen to be honest with you. But yeah, finally got a floor in, nice and solid. Right, so I'll crack on and cut that bit, and that bit, and that'll be that floor done. I am going to resin wash this board. Um, only carpet sitting on it, but if I resin wash it, it'd be waterproof then, and I won't have to worry about it. Put carpet on top of it. Um, I will resin wash underneath, and probably even build paint the bottom, so it's a sealed unit. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'll crack on with that. Right, and that's all cut out. I've cut that bit off, trimmed that up, so now it's in line with the wall. Um, so the next step will be to resin wash the underneath, bilge paint it, and get another coat of bilge paint on the, the bilge itself. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll crack on with that. Right, nice sunny day today. A little bit cloudy. Nice blue skies over there. So I'm gonna, this is the bottom. It's already been wet and washed. I'm going to now use bilge paint and cover this whole thing. That and that'll be done for this board on the downside. So yeah, I'll crack on with painting this.
Well, that was quick and easy. Um, one thing I did learn from doing the build is to really spread the paint out because it does build up and takes a long time to dry. Um, but in this sun, the wind going should dry pretty quick. Yeah, so that's, I'll probably do two coats actually because it went on so easy. Um, yeah, so I'll go back into the boat now. Okay, back in the boat now. So, what I've decided to do is I'll paint it at the end of each day just so I'm not walking around and I can carry on doing stuff. But I've just painted the floor now, so what I'm thinking is, is I'll wait for the floor to actually be done and come in and then I can start on the toilet and butt it up. Um, so what I'm thinking now is actually doing the middle rib for the bed and the uh, two stringers either side and that will finish the floor of the the double bed I just would all I need to do then is fiberglass it in which I'll do uh, once I've probably cut all the toilet and do it all in one in one go um, so yeah I'll crack on and cut that middle one out Okay guys, that's the uh, middle string end. The diesel heat is just kicking off again. Uh, so yeah, we've got one here, one there, and then the one at the back, which I will join to that board there. Um, so the only things I've got left to do now is put the pieces, the stringers in here, here, and probably here and here. And that's the bed frame done. Um, yeah, so we'll probably do that next time. Uh, I'll go and paint the floor in now. Okay. Okay, it's been about an hour. It is actually bone dry. Turned out good, really good. So I'm going to do a second coat anyway, just so, you know, because it's going to be underneath and sealed and I'll probably never see it again, hopefully. At least then I know it's been done and protected. So I'll crack on with that. Okay, that's the double bed painted. Two coats on it. Um, like I said on the first one, it's turned out really well. This is the bottom half, so we'll be flipped over so this side will be on this side, but it fits both sides at the moment, so I just left it in here overnight to dry out, and it turned out really good. Um, that's probably gonna be it for this week. Um, it's already Friday. Um, so next week we can hopefully finish off the double bed stringers and start working on the toilet uh, ribs or stringers. Uh, yeah, start working on that and getting the floor in maybe. Just see what sort of time. 
time just flies when you're working on boats. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.